Sustainability Role Modeling. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 316. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 316, April 14th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on the planet and to create self sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Today, what I want to talk about is sustainability role modeling. Because everything you see happening in the background of the video here and everything that we talk about is our open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for sustainability role modeling for the highest good of all life on the planet. And when I talk about sustainability role modeling, I mean everything necessary to create a sustainable civilization. And so we've broken that down in two categories. We have physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing. Everybody's familiar with that. And then we have emotional sustainability, which we've identified the foundations as being highest good education uh, elements, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together as a sustainability role modeling path to a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way of living right now. And so when you look at everything happening in the background here, these are the different seven villages we're having. Later, you'll see the highest good education uh, components, highest good food components, highest good economic uh, elements as well. All these different things, we're putting them together for sustainability role modeling to teach people a better way of living that works in cohesion, in collaboration, cooperation with their environment, with their local community, with each other, to create a way of living, as I said before, that most people will consider to be better than the living right now, which is the demonstration aspect of what it is that we're doing. One community will be the living model where people can come and stay in one of these villages or live in one of these villages and join our team permanently, being a part of what it is that we're creating and a part of a global cooperative and a global collaborative for the highest good of all life, creating a better world for everybody. Because we believe that within our, within our lifetime, through sustainability role modeling and a self-replicating model, self-replicating because we're designing it to be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that it'll spread on its own. And through that, we can create a global collaboration and cooperation of people working together to solve the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come with this model and its other iterations that other people help to create. So we call it open source project launch blueprinting because we're open sourcing everything that is that we're doing so that other people can not only replicate it, but so that other people can use what it is that we're doing to be able to start their own projects, creating things in perhaps entirely different and perhaps better ways than we have done, but still built on this foundation for the highest good of all. So even if people want to create it just for selfish reasons or for capitalist reasons, just to make money, that's totally fine. We think that because it's created on a foundation for the highest good of all life on this planet, that it's still a step in the right direction. And everything that we're doing is created, it's not just sustainability role modeling of complete eco-villages and sustainability hubs, it's sustainability role modeling of all the individual components as well, because everything that we're creating can be replicated either as the complete model, the complete teacher demonstration hub as one of these, as a city center with a sustainable village built around it, or as just one of the sustainable villages that's a standalone village and provides everything that everybody needs uh, within walking distance, can feed a couple hundred people at a time, has all the recreation built into it, is surrounded by, hopefully, in our model, by beautiful nature and things of recreational options as well outside, getting people outside, exploring nature, enjoying nature, and living in cohesion with nature, improving and stewarding their environments for the highest good, not only of themselves and the surrounding community, but for the highest good of everything that depends on that natural environment. So we're creating all this and sustainably, sustainability role modeling it all so that the individual components can be, can be uh, implemented as well. So that if somebody just wants to grow something that they've never seen before from our tutorials already uh, created in the highest good food section, or so that somebody can reduce their water bills by installing something from 
our highest good housing section that includes all the research on shower heads and water saving faucets or so that somebody can improve the health of their environment by perhaps uh, referencing all the research that we've done, the 20 plus hours of research that we've done on sustainable and safe paints or maybe so somebody could just build their own self, themselves a sustainable home from the blueprints that we're using to create the entire earth bag village or the shipping container village or the compressed earth block village or any of those things or so that somebody can run a high school education model that focuses more on how to learn instead of what to learn while also hitting all those what to learn key points as well so that kids will have a better education and be able to be free thinkers that can and better problem solvers. This is what we're doing. Every component replicable is either the individual element and component or is the complete teacher demonstration hub and sustainability role modeling all for the highest good of all life on this planet so that we can create a world that works for everybody and so that we can collaboratively and cooperatively address the challenges that our planet and our species is facing right now in a way that is robust and effective and comprehensive and holistic while simultaneously uh, being accessible to everyone everywhere on the planet and working in cooperation and collaboration to evolve that as a group. So this is what our 100% volunteer team is doing. Uh, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're a nonprofit organization. We've had over 300 volunteers to, at this point, uh, contribute to our project to create what it is that we're creating. And we're doing it because we think sustainability role model is necessary and it's a pathway to a way of living that I want to live and that will improve the planet for everybody. And so with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal, sustainability role modeling, and so much more. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bay Village. Here's weekly update 155 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was creating the housing domes to go with the bathroom dome in the three and six dome clusters. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 43rd week helping with Earthbag Village render editions. This week, he refinished work on this view of an Earthbag Village six dome cluster by replacing several people and fixing additional errors we found. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 46th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was finishing the rest of the parts drawings to match all the pre-made components that will need to be purchased and finishing the related feature pages. You can see some of this work here. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her 13th week as a researcher with our team. This week she finished final formatting and organization for faucet attachment section of the upcoming Most Sustainable Faucet Options page and also formatted the altered water saving nozzle edition. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of 3D modeling the new duplicate city center interior design details for the library. This week, we updated the textures for the picture frames, bookshelves, benches, sofas, and most of the other furniture. We also updated the lights above the pictures, replaced two side tables with green bean bags, and moved tables and chairs to give room for two extra bean bags. The core team also continued adding content to the City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, we finished the remaining research and content for the Indoor Environmental Quality Enhanced Indoor Air Quality Strategy section of the Maximizing Lead Points in the City Center Point by Point section and several related page updates and initial page setups. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, completed their 16th week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was minor updates to the social dome storyboards and beginning work on the dining dome with window, railing, and staircase research. James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his 18th week researching sustainable materials for the Most Sustainable Adhesives page. This week's focus was researching and adding specific products to the AFM safe coat and bonus sections as shown here. 
Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her ninth week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was more floor height fixes to complete the needed AutoCAD updates shown here so we can start using eTabs to run the engineering calculations. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan. After reviewing and assessing more goat videos and articles, and a film on land restoration, we continued revising our goat care and fencing details. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. The core team also continued research and 3D design of the chicken coops needed for 100 chicks. This week, we researched trailer sizes for the chicken coop and added the trailer to SketchUp. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his 14th week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. Draft 1 is now complete, and final edits are all that remains for these. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, began the process of updating our business plan and editing to simplify several of our related overview pages. You can see the beginnings of this behind the scenes work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 26th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was creating the campaigns for several of the education pages covering Montessori, Waldorf, Reggio Emilio method, Orf Schulwerk method, and the multi-intelligences method. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments demonstrating and working towards more and more elements and components of sustainability role modeling covering all aspects of the human sustainable experience. Uh, with that said, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Uh, so we are on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, Reddit, LinkedIn, uh, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Also, if you like the easiest way to help out, of course, you can visit our helping page for all the ways to help out. Uh, or if you like the easiest way, just subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, uh, join us on social media, help us share information on social media. All those different social media networks you can share wherever it is that you like. We're probably there. Um, join us. And of course, as I like to always say, thanks for watching till the end. Uh, thank you for your support. If somebody that's donated to us, we're a 100% donation organization and we're all unpaid volunteers. So all 100% of your donations go to our open source mission. Then it'll go to paychecks for me or anybody else on the team as we continue to work forward and uh, create highest good models, open source, free shared sustainability models for the highest good of all life on this planet. So that's what we have for this week. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.